Hey guys, welcome to the wrap up for July 18th, uh, 2017. Um, let's start by looking at the SPY here. We only had a few trades, so that will be pretty quickly easy to go over, and then we'll look at the watch list for tomorrow. Um, you know, if you look at yesterday's range, you see the movement we had, and you look at the day before's range, and the day before as well. Well, today we basically went pretty much straight sideways, so. Um, probably why we didn't get that many triggers, and you'll see that I beefed up the list a little bit tomorrow to see if we can get a little bit more trading, but uh, all in all, I can't really complain. You know, we had a, a pretty decent move um, the last couple of days, and we've just kind of been chopping sideways. If you look at the daily chart, you can see this little kind of doji here as well, so um, I usually keep them in these lists here, but I've actually forgotten to clear these out before I put the new ones in. So I'll just look at them on another screen that I got going on here and, and type them in. So the first one of the day was GNC. It was amazing. We got triggered kind of right in this area. Um, at I believe 810 or 815. Um, nice strong move up. Got out half of the position up in this area and then the rest near the end of the day. So um I believe like 50 cents or so on the last bit was was fantastic. Um, AXON. And again, uh, I'll go through kind of what we do here in just one moment, but let's do the kind of wrap up first. So AXON, um, Trade Ideas kind of looked at this uh, purple line here as the support. And when we broke this kind of midday, we got a nice little decent sell off, uh, half the position out here, and then the rest at the end of the day. And then we had one loser in Mattel, MAT. Um, remember in MAT, we were looking at this kind of nice move up, this sell back down to this prior resistance, now support. And we were trying to see if we could get kind of continuation from yesterday's move. We had a little break early. Uh, put in two topping tails on 30 minute candles here and when it broke back down through the um, the initial purchase price we got out there so two decent wins and one small loss so certainly uh, can't complain so again just a little wrap up if anyone's new here what my one of my primary trading styles is essentially a hybrid between kind of algorithmic black box trading and more discretionary trading where I use trade ideas and we take kind of the whole universe and the whole scope of stocks, narrow it down to anywhere from a, a kind of top 10 to top 20 list, feed that into the auto trading bot that works with interactive brokers um, as well as, as some prop um, firms that I trade with and then have that auto trade uh, my discretionary picks, right? So it's taking a, a short-term entry algorithm that I believe has above 50% win rate and then trying to use my eye as a trader to filter out all of the universe of stocks into a small amount um, to hopefully kind of up that win rate a little bit further. So um, as we mentioned with the SPY, we didn't really do much today. So this could kind of be some just sideways movement before another push higher. Or some people are, are kind of seeing this, I'm sure, as two topping tails uh, just as we break all-time highs. So again, I wouldn't be surprised if we pulled back into the range to retest before moving higher. I also wouldn't be surprised if we just run straight out. Or with the way the news cycle is going, you know, the, the next kind of shoe drops or whatever out there and we get a pretty decent gap down. So... Again, looking primarily at short-term intraday trades with pretty tight profit targets um, to just kind of uh, churn out the summer, right? Try to hit singles all summer. You know, maybe in September if the news cycle changes a bit and maybe volatility picks up a bit more, we'll start uh, widening that up and swing for the fences. So let's go through um, just the long ideas first. ARNA we've had on watch for the past couple days and it's been we had I think a pretty decent trade on it here and then I think an okay trade on it here or something like that but again I'm just looking at the gap up and then the retracement and the retracement's pretty shallow quite often if a gap up fails 
they fail pretty spectacularly. Um, I'm kind of just taking a look at this, I guess, uh, doji uh, hammer candle, you could call it. And as long as we're in this area, I'm going to kind of keep an eye on a continuation long. So we're still holding near this support area. So as long as we're in this area, I'm going to take a look for it long because any sort of breakup, I think, is going to be um, kind of quickly chased. Uh, BNED, Barnes & Noble still. Uh, same synopsis of yesterday where we had a, a sell down. We scrolled out on the chart yesterday, and we noticed that it's just a little bit below some support. We have pretty decent support here on the intraday. That's why we had it in the list yesterday. It didn't trigger, which is good because if it did, it just kind of chopped around all day anyway. Um, maybe just kind of a sideways day, and then we get a little bit of a push later. Uh, CNSL, same kind of look as uh, BNED, where we have a pretty clearly defined intraday support here after a pretty decent move lower, right? So a small bounce in this uh a small retracement here, even to kind of close the gap here or to test these highs, would be a decent enough intraday profit. Um, double D, big strong push up here, and then it's just kind of been chopping sideways with, you can see, one low here, a lower low here, lower low here, lower low here, with 85 being a decent resistance level so as we kind of congest against this i'm kind of betting on trade ideas to see this 85 areas resistance or break through 85 hopefully we get a a pop big enough to take some profits on imuc strong massive move here it's been pulling down slowly and slowly and gradually to the breakout point and then we got some action here late day today with a bit of a pop on strong volume. So maybe woke some people up. Maybe if we get a break of this tomorrow, um, a small push higher. RLJ. Big strong. Must have been some news out intraday. Um, I'll review the news before I, I for sure keep this on the list for tomorrow. But nice strong push up and orderly, orderly pullback with lots of bottoming tails. If Trade Ideas kind of sees this resistance here, hopefully we can look for a break of that with uh, some pretty clear support there as well. And SHLO, same type of deal as Barnes & Noble, except we have this little gap that took place right here at the beginning of the year. And if we go out very horribly with a straight line, you can see we're nearing that area after a pretty substantial move down. As well as today, we had kind of consecutive lower lows all day. And a pretty clear resistance area that I'm sure Trade Ideas will see right here. So we're going to look for a break of, of that resistance. Now to the short, we got ADXS. Uh, it was on the list today. We didn't really get a trigger. But we were looking at it because it had kind of hit his head up on this resistance area and it did pull back just like we like but actually closed pretty near the resistance area or the support area that we we're looking at yesterday so still kind of the exact same synopsis so we're going to look for a break of this resistance and then maybe continuation lower here um amc just a, a really weak candle today had uh, clear support in through here, possible, I guess, bear flag. You could see with a down move and then a consolidation lower. Broke the um, the high of the day and the top tick are pretty much the same. And the low of the day and the bottom tick are pretty much the same. So just incredible weakness all day. Um, quite often, if you get a continuation tomorrow, you can get a lot of people kind of running. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, AXON, we noted this kind of um, middle finger type candle here where we broke through a resistance area and then just got smacked right back down. Today we tried to take a little push up here in the morning and we got smacked right back down again. So 
Um, we got a decent trade on it today. I'm just kind of keeping it on watch to see if we get a continuation of this tomorrow. And we have this resistance area way down here that um, I think it is possible that if we get some momentum, we could hit. HDP, uh, same kind of thing as we were looking at AO, AXON yesterday where it has this very clear resistance area. It broke up through. It wasn't able to close below the resistance, but it does have a, a pretty incredible wick there. So if we kind of break down below this tomorrow, um, I think we continue. Even if we get to the low of yesterday or the low of today, that's a pretty decent move. And then um, we have this whole gap here we can, we can fill. Uh, Hertz just continues to push up here, basically just looking to fade this incredibly strong move into an area of congestion that we had before. So that one's a pretty straightforward idea. Uh, TLRD, just straight resistance. You know, if we go back out on the 30-minute chart, we can see the resistance area here. And if we go on the daily, we can see it goes back months. So um, just trying to look for a little break off resistance there and Twitter um, interesting topping tail and you can see that it popped up above yesterday's high today sold back down below it's barely holding on to the breakout of these new highs with a topping tail today so I think a little bit of a trend continuation we could pull back here um, might be a just a pullback for a stronger move higher but um, again as kind of short-term intraday players we can play the pullback and then the push higher if we decide to later but that's about it for today guys um, again the, you can still sign up for the uh, trade ideas open house the free trial they're having for the week or free it's it's nine bucks so almost free and you get uh, the entire week of everything that Trade Ideas has to offer. So the scans I use, the um, the back tester, and also the auto trading bot, as well as Holly, the, the artificial intelligence, all for a week. If you're watching this a little bit later, um, there's links below to, uh, to save yourself a little bit of cash there. And then it also helps kind of make these videos worthwhile making as well as my email address I do some one-on-one -on -one mentoring as well so um, all of that is below the video and I will see you guys tomorrow